Have you heard of the term eating window? You probably have if you've researched intermittent fasting. I learned about intermittent fasting two years ago when I had 50 pounds out of the total 80 pounds that I still had to lose. And intermittent fasting was key along with learning about low carb diets was key to helping me lose the weight. And I've been able to maintain that weight loss, which is mind blowing still to me because I had almost a 40 year history of yo-yo dieting. So what are eating windows? Eating windows are the time that you're eating compared to intermittent fasting. There's two sections of your day. You're either fasting or you're eating, but I, as a recovering binge eater, I've had several types of eating disorders in the past and binge eating was definitely one of them. I found that having this eating window made me justify eating more than two meals or one meal or three meals. And this has only been recently that I've been understanding this and realizing that the term eating window is not a very good term in this situation for people who like me have been a binge eater in the past. And I could very much slide back into that tendency and I've checked it and tried it out. And sure enough, I am still a binge eater. I'm recovering from it and I have to put habits in place to not go back into becoming a binge eater again. The eating window, Let's say an example, you don't want to eat until two in the afternoon and then you're going to start your next fast at eight in the evening. You open your eating window up, you know, like opening up a window, you open it up at two and then you're supposed to close the window at eight. Well, let's think about windows. An open window without a screen can let the bugs in, the birds in, the animals in, if you live on a main floor. If you're up in an apartment, it can let just about anything in that's flying around. Opening up your eating window sort of gives you free reign to say, oh, I can eat anything because I'm going to be fasting later on. I'd like to change it and add an S, eating windows. Why don't we see it as two eating windows if we are going to eat twice in that day? Two meals a day. Two mad, two meals a day. Oh mad, one meal a day. Let's say we're going to have two eating windows and we in essence are fasting again, intermittent fasting between those two meals. Opening up that eating window doesn't just give us free reign to say, I can eat whatever I want for the next six hours because the whole point of this is to not have our insulin spiking multiple times a day. If you're eating two meals a day, your insulin should go up twice. If you're eating one meal a day, your insulin should go up once. In the past, I used to snack every hour. And actually when I had my coffee with cream and sugar, especially the sugar, every time I'm taking a sip, my insulin is going up and down. So it's multiple meals a day. If I have a smoothie and I'm drinking it over a half an hour time frame, if I'm having some alcohol, if I'm having juice and I'm drinking it over a long period of time, it gives the insulin a chance to come back down and then I sip on it, up goes insulin again. So in essence, those are multiple eating windows. We need to remember whatever comes in our mouth, eating and the drinking, your body doesn't know the difference. So eating and drinking, I'm meaning the same thing. An eating window can also be termed as a drinking window, which sounds weird. I think we need to start seeing it as eating windows with an S on the end of windows. We're not wanting to open this window up and let everything in, let give us free reign to eat and drink whenever we want, whatever we want during that chunk of time. I have the suspicion, this is why intermittent fasting is not working for a lot of people because of this term. So if we can change the term to be eating windows and see we're gonna open the window and close the window again, as soon as we've done eating, close it up. And then it lets our body rest, our digestion rest, our insulin come down, and then we can start digesting that food. And if we go past four or five, six hours again, before we eat again or drink something other than water, then we are going to have our insulin rest and then it can say, oh, I need some more energy. I'm going to go grab it from the stored energy in our fat. Let's say eating windows. 
I'm going to have two eating windows if I'm going to eat two times a day. I'm going to have one eating window if I'm going to eat one time in the day. This is a very new thing in my mind to think through, but I have tried and tried to understand why it is still hard to do intermittent fasting even after I've maintained the weight for two years. What is it about this concept? And I think this is what it is. Another way to think of this is we're gonna have two intermittent fasting sessions over 24 hours. If we take the word eating window away, we're gonna say we're gonna fast twice. I'm gonna fast for 18 hours and then I'm gonna fast for six hours. And there's gonna be two little meals in there between the six and the 18. That's another way to maybe phrase this where we have intermittent fasting and then we take a break and we have a meal, intermittent fasting for a shorter time, another meal, and then a longer intermittent fasting time. That's another way to say it if we're not gonna actually use the word eating window. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it and hope to see you in the next video.